rectification. Distension of rectum with feces initiates reflex contraction of its musculature and the desire to defecate. Defecation involves both voluntary and uh, reflex activity. The urge to defecate first occurs when rectal pressure increases to about 18 mm of Hg. When this pressure reaches, the, reaches 55 mm of Hg, the external as well as the internal anal sphincter relaxes and there is a reflex expulsion of the contents of rectum. Continual dribbling of the fecal matter through the anus is prevented by tonic contraction of internal anal sphincter and uh, external anal sphincter that is involuntary and voluntary respectively. The internal anal sphincter, this sphincter relaxes reflexly in response to stretch receptors when the rectum is distended. Sympathetic supply is excitatory and parasympathetic supply is inhibitory. Sympathetic, it is from the presacral nerve fibers from T12, L1 and L2 and parasympathetic is through the pelvic splanchnic nerve. External anal sphincter uh, is the, uh, the nerve supply of uh, this occurs through the pudendal nerve. It is maintained in a state of tonic contraction. Mild to moderate distension of the rectum increases its force of contraction whereas moderately severe distension of rectum relaxes it. Defecation reflex that is intrinsic reflex. It is mediated by intrinsic nerve plexuses. Distension of rectum initiates the afferent signals that spreads through the myentric plexus and initiates the mass, mass peristaltic waves in the descending colon, sigmoid colon and rectum that propel fecal matter towards the anus. The intrinsic defecation reflex functioning by itself is uh, relatively weak. To be effective, this reflex is fortified by parasympathetic defecation reflex. Parasympathetic defecation reflex, distension of rectum by feces causes transmission of afferent impulses through pelvic nerve to sacral segments of spinal cord. This induces reflex parasympathetic discharge that is mainly from S2 segment over the uh, pelvic splanchnic nerves to cause inhibition of the internal anal sphincter and when rectal pressure reaches 55 millimeters of mercury discharge in the pudendal nerve is inhibited this relaxes the external anal sphincter and fecal matter is expelled out so this is uh, the diagram showing the defecation reflex and the diagram shows the internal anal sphincter are inside and the external anal sphincter which are outside the food in the uh, in the sigma and colon or the rectum is going to uh, uh, increase the parasympathetic activity so that causes the peristalsis of sigma and colon and the reflex uh, inhibition of the internal as well as uh, the external anal sphincters that is that is going to lead to defecation reflex note that gastrocolic and duodenocolic reflexes also aid in defecation voluntary defecation before the pressure that relaxes the external sphincter is reached the voluntary defecation can be initiated by straining defecation can be voluntarily facilitated by relaxing the external inner sphincter and contracting the abdominal muscles or Inhibited by keeping the external anal sphincter contracted. Hirschsprung's disease. Hirschsprung's disease is a ganglionic megaclon, refers to the congenital absence of ganglion cells in both myentric and submucosal plexuses. The site of involvement is distal colon. This leads to blockage of both peristalsis and mass contraction at the er ganglionic segment. Therefore, the feces. Uh, pass the ga er ganglionic region with difficulty and accumulate in large intestine. The disease can be treated by cutting the er ganglionic portion of the colon and anastomosing 